Hello, little fella. <laughs> All right. Oh, I've got this dog here. <laughs> Wanted me to stroke him. Christine's going to get mobbed, and she don't like dogs. Um, morning. Um, you can hear. Stay, stay, stay. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I'm just doing this. Hang on a minute. There's, we found Christine's wooden horse that she wants to see, but the dogs just keep jumping up at him. Wants to stroke him. I don't want to stroke him. No. Oh dear. Anyway, we're on to other things now. Dean. The other two have just run off where the bins are over there. Um, I will. I took some pictures of Chris, of Christine. There she's there now taking a photo. I, I'll. Uh, where are we going to today? Still be 
able to do the, the odd video and I'll still be able to contact you which you'll probably already know when you see this we've already grasped that to the point that's going on yeah sure, I've got you shot on my phone so. yeah, yeah you, Christ can't, you can't transform to my phone Christine has WhatsApp the same so it'll be a different number that's calling you um, I'm assuming Christine's got your number and everything tapped into it so we'll do it through Christine as well. Do it today through my chat. Yeah. I'll probably give you a ring this morning on mine. I don't know what I'm telling you this for, because this will have already happened. <laughs> <laughs> These are the worst roads we've actually been on, yeah. aren't they? Yeah. We are in the back of beyond. We still have to stop on a hill. <laughs> Continue straight onto Sapahi Sakak.
There we go. So we're, uh, it's not a funiculus cable car, which is the word I meant to use. Hmm. Uh, we could have possibly drove up, but we, we didn't figured know. the best idea to do for the van is we'll get the cable car. So, I mean, cable cars tend to be pretty expensive in the scheme of things, aren't they? Yeah. So that, that cost us a thousand TL, which is, is 24 quid. But yeah, 24 quid. Return. Return, which is, yeah, uh, for cable cars, is quite cheap. Yeah, it's not bad. I mean, some of them uh, <laughs> can be 50 and 60 pound <laughs> each, can't they? Yeah. So anyway, we're, uh, we're heading up there. We could have walked it, but times like yeah, we could have walked. We could have walked, and um, uh, and which I would have gladly have done. Yeah. And I would never have chose this form of transport. Of course. Well, I could have walked, but Christine insisted. We'll walk so back then, shall we? I just, uh, you know, mm. took the better part of valour and mm. conceded to Christine. Mm -hmm. I think we've still got to get tickets to get in when we get at the top. But, uh, it's a fantastic view. Mm. I think um, we did the best thing. So uh, yeah. If we'd have drove up, it looks like that's the road <laughs> up and there's the car park. So I think we did the right thing, but wow. Look at that. Come on them. Well, we're up here at uh, what we call the Acropolis, Pergamon. Pergamon. What have you? And uh, yeah, I mean, you can see why they built a, a, a fortification or whatever here, and uh, look at your views. Must be a good place to visit because it's always Chinese. And oh, yeah. the Chinese visit all the best places if you were to follow them. I mean, wow. Look at that. It's a view, though. That's actually spectacular. Amazing, stunning. Not sure of uh, some of the significance of these particular buildings. Yeah, so I think it's a case of us wandering around and uh, seeing what we see. There's some information on the board over there. Hopefully it's in English. We'll see. But, uh, I mean, there's all these pillars around here and I presume this is some of the, what would have been the original floor. But uh, see what it says on this wall. Uh, we just met our way up as far as the writing, but actually, look at the terracing. Look at that. I 
that's amazing let's have a look and see what it says that's up there Christine please Shall we go yes please set a bit of climbing bit of a font thing here so the sanctuary of Athena which you think is this big square um, we've got were carried off by Anthony in 41 BC and presented to Cleopatra oh sorry I thought it was a bit <laughs> he says <laughs> dedicated to the city goddess Athena who brings victory and to Zeus the oldest temple known in Pergamon 4th century BC was surrounded by Doric columns six to front and rear ten to each side with divided room inside foundations are only visible today so that that was that big space with the columns there a double sided aisle stoa with attached library was added on the north side of the temple in the time of Eumus the second in the main room of the library the podium and wall sockets designed to support the bookshelves are visible on the pedestal center in the north wall There was a reputed 200,000 scrolls kept here but they were carried off by Anthony in 41 BC you remember Anthony for Anthony and Cleopatra and were presented to Cleopatra on the east side of the precinct a side aisle stoa with an entrance gateway decorated with release was also added in the time of Eumus II So that, that's kind of what it would have looked like. Um, there's the with the terracing on it. That is uh, quite fantastic. It's a strange stone. So this is a theatre. Um, not going much closer than that. That's close enough for me. Uh, might go a little bit closer where Christine is. Uh, trouble with steps going down, you've got to come back up again. You better walk there, remember? Uh, anyway, the theatre it would have seated ten thousand. So we'll go down and have a look, and then do the. Uh, well, actually, I'm going to say right. There's a stairway that takes us down into the uh, theatre. Uh, just be a bit uh, careful. Uh, depending on this, uh, how this all opens up, depends on how far I go. That's not looking good. I um, don't know, I reckon I can uh, do... Right, if we do these, Christine, we need to go and have a look at that, then come back up. Yeah. So, there it is. We'll have a look at it from the bottom. Okay, I've just walked down that. I'm not sure what you'll be able to see of this because of the sun. But uh, this is a stage area. Apparently, this was temporary and was would have been taken down after every performance. But obviously, that is just it must have been amazing the roar from the crowd and. Really. Oh, God. Oops. Anyway, I've come down here. There's these post holes. Yeah. 
Uh, shouldn't have come down. To be honest, I think I'm going to struggle to get back up again now. Okay, let's have a see what it says here. So. Oh, we've already read that. Have you? Is it the same one? Yeah, oh, the same thing. Wow. Can't believe that that would happen. Look at it. That is amazing. I mean, that just dwarfs anything else that we've seen yeah. as a theatre. Yeah. This looks like this would have been a temple at some time, I think, a stage or another. <coughs> well, this is the temple of Dionysus. And uh, I think what they've done here is they've buried some objects which are from our time on there to be dug up at a later date. I mean, how many years that is. They usually do 100 or 200 years. So, who knows? But view spectacular. I just cannot get over that. That is just fantastic. Oh, I think that deserves one more look. And we, we were just saying, me and Christine, that imagine being on the stage and there's these 10,000 people there and the noise it must have made. Uh, it must have been fantastic. Well, I walked back to the top. Uh, this is what it would have looked like. I don't think they do the steepness justice. Oh, that was hard. I didn't come up via the theatre. I uh, walked around. Christine's gone ahead to get some water or orange uh, these apparently were the palaces of the kings of Pergamon and then converted to barracks for soldiers uh, there's the Acropolis again down there This, uh, I could tell you, we went down that term over there, down the Step. them steps of the theatre, and <sighs> didn't come back up by the steps. We came round, but oh my God, it took it out of me, out of me, even Christine. Heat. I went and got some drinks and left you up here. <laughs> yeah. But it's baking hot. I mean, round about 8 o'clock this morning, it was 26, 27 degrees. It's now 10 to 11, and I'm sure we're into the 30s again. see what this is all about. Okay, this is called the Trojanium, which basically means the halls. This statue doesn't actually belong here, but it was placed here as a representation. But that is Quite magnificent. How stunning is this? It's absolutely fantastic. And the views, it's just amazing. Uh, 
absolutely amazing. Okay, we're at nearly pretty much the highest point we can get to. Uh, we think that this is what would have been a well. Wow. Well, I think uh, I can hear Christine saying, oh wow, so the, there must be a good view. So we'll uh, take a look. Look at that for a view across what I think is pretty much a reservoir. Wow. Unbelievable. And uh, another view. Wow. That's quite stunning. the outer walls. I mean nobody was scaling this. I love the way the whole that green grass, moss or whatever has grown up the side of it. Terrific. Look at the stonework on the floor. I think this would have been high up like that one on that side. view on this. We ought to see that uh, theatre again. Yeah. That was really hard work that. Walking down there and then we had to walk the path all the way around and come back up again. There was no way I could have got up them stairs. 